Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, inviting me. Um, and congratulations for uh, this amazing forum. Uh, you may so hear some background noise. It's, this is my newborn <laughs> baby. That's why I couldn't be there in person. Um, Uh, you on mute? No. Can you okay. hear me okay? Yes, we hear you again. Okay. Um, so I was saying that I'm also a graduate from um, of the Arizona University in Thessaloniki. Um, and my path was different. Um, I uh, transitioned and I went to uh, the U.S. through research. Um, after graduating from med school, I uh, went to the U.K. initially. And I just did a... Um, part of my residency there, I went into the training program in the UK, but at some point, and while I was doing my internal medicine training there, I decided to transition to the US and do more research. Um, so I joined uh, Dr. Manjaro's lab, um, who is uh, in Boston. Uh, he has a lab here at Harvard, and I did research, clinical translational research for two years. Uh, and um, I studied for my USMLE while I was here, while I was doing research, and uh, that's how um, I started my clinical training as well. So it was really important that I had a couple of publications and some poster presentations and oral presentations in conferences, and I had a strong letter of recommendation from the US. Um, I had letters from the UK as well, so I think that later on, because the program I was in was pretty uh, solid clinical program. So uh, the credentials from there, I think, played some role. Um, and I did my residency. And I think once you enter the U.S. training program, um, and if you are you know, good at your job, I think it's, a, uh, it's, a real, it's really easy to progress and you really advance your career. Um, and the fact that you start with research doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to do a research career. I think during residency, you can really choose your path. And there are traditionally three paths. So you can become a medical, medical educator, clinician educator, you can become a researcher, um, you can become a clinician uh, without you know, um, uh, continuing into the academia, you can have a private practice, et cetera. Um, so I feel that for me, research was uh, an important you know, part of my um, career here in the US and I continued as a resident and as a fellow in endocrinology. I matched at uh, Beth Israel here in Boston and Jocelyn Diabetes Center. I did my fellowship here and I got um, grants uh, that supported my research during um, fellowship and I now have my individual NIH grants and I continue my research uh, while I'm doing some clinical work um, at the same institution. Um, so as Dr. Luda said, there's no one way or, you know, one key for success, uh, one key pathway for success. There are multiple ways in entering the U.S. training program system. Uh, for me, research worked really nicely. Um, for others, you know, doing an observership or clerkship is the way to go. Uh, but I think preparing yourself during med school, um, doing your USMLE earlier, uh, probably doing your step one, while you're in um, med school during uh, the years of med school is advisable um, because for me, it took a while to remember all the biochemistry and um, physics and uh, pharmacology, uh, the basic, you know, science, um, uh, which we usually uh, get taught in the Arsenal University at the very beginning, um, the first few years in med school. Um, so we can take any questions. We're available and we can be reached out anytime. Um, and we're happy to discuss with uh, students who are thinking about uh, coming to the U.S., uh, even if they haven't made any, you know, a solid decision. Your enlightening talk, and the will can we give your email out to students who are interested? Sure. In yes, research in the United States. Okay. Yeah. Very well. Okay. Thank you.